All right, I've got the drill trigger hooked up to two ignition coils hooked in parallel, but it's hooked up positive to negative, negative to positive. The purpose of this video is to show you about the elevated capacity and to show you a homemade, I'm going to show you on a homemade plasma ball, which is nothing but a burn up light bulb. Okay, the first thing. The sec one of the secondaries is a ground. That's all you want out of it. Go straight to a ground. I got a ground rod outside. And the other secondary, I'm going to go right to the plasma globe. All right, I got the other secondary going straight to the plasma globe. You can see just a little bit of purple on there. It ain't even enough to to draw a streamer out or nothing. But what I got is my elevated capacity up here, and I'm gonna plug it in. You hear my speakers pop on my TV. It like electrifies the circuit whenever you put it up to a to a higher capacity. Look at that now. Look at the energy coming out of there now. And the only thing that I did, like I said, was hook up two pie pans, almost acting like an antenna. I want you to look at my fingers. Now this don't hurt at all, neither. Not even gives you RF burns. That would hurt. It ain't. It's a different kind of electricity. I think. I don't know. I mean, it don't even hurt or nothing. I don't. I don't. Can't figure this one out yet. I mean, I've never been able to replicate a plasma ball, but like I said, it's real simple. That capacitor's not doing nothing. I just got all the leads hooked up. It's just acting as like a a jumper, so three leads can hook up to it. I got a momentary switch down here, but that's it. Positive to negative, negative to positive on the ignition coil from a drill trigger, and the trigger supplies a pulse. You ground one of the secondaries and the other one you put to an antenna and use as your spark. 